Um, hello, esteemed viewers and uh, the member of the association. So welcome to the channel of National African uh, Students Association or in short NASA. So in today's tutorial, I would like to, uh, to show you or to guide you on how you can change your UNAM password uh, for your e-learning in the, the portal at large so the reason why we have come up with these videos is like um, uh, most of the students uh, they use the default pin of the student enabler which is uh, 70 um, 7492 one to log uh, in their portal and the um, mod, uh, module um, and so forth so now we have come up with the our students are concerned though about their privacy because some someone can even uh, just use that default pin to log in your uh, especially like in module to just check your progression on some other um, activities and they, they can even uh, log in your portal and they have access to your uh, to your academic uh, um, details. So with with without wasting time. Um, <clears throat> I would like you. Um, I mean, let's get into the business now. But before we go into detail, please um, uh, like, uh, subscribe to our channel for more content, and also share the video with your uh, fellows or uh, fellow students. So mostly, uh, first years are encouraged to watch this video as uh, it's going to help them to secure their portals and or module accounts. So before doing that, uh, there are two ways on how we can assess um, uh, assess the what is like the uh, the platform or where we are going to change our passwords. First, we must go to UNAM uh, UNAM website. Just uh, type it UNAM, just like that, and press enter. Uh, the network is low. Let's just see. Okay, we'll be taken to the web page where we can access the University of Namibia um, web page, a website. We go in website. So I will first show you the first step on the, I mean, using the website. And the second step I'll show you on the, using the portal, uh, using the portal. So first step we can use the 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 what the the university's uh, website. So once you are in the university website, you don't have to look any further more on these steps or so, uh, under study. I mean, uh, campuses, facilities, centers, or and so forth. So you don't have to go to those steps. So what you have to do, you are already on the about human page. So what you have to do, you just have to scroll down, down, down to the last page. You have to scroll down to the last page. Now, uh, on the last uh, page or your yeah, page, uh, you will get um, a link or where it say or a page um, a section where it say helpful links. This one um, and the helpful links, there are a lot of um, uh, links eh, that can uh, uh, lead you to different or variety of. Um, 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 I mean, um, websites, for example, like uh, Student Enabler. Uh, this is for students, this is for lecture and, uh, and finance um, uh, what, uh, staffs, and this one is for Moodle. So, here, when you are uh, under the helpful link, you must always go where it's written uh, student, uh, student web mail. Click on the student web mail. Now, UNAM and Microsoft, uh, they've uh, Sign the they've signed the contract together to host their emails there, so you'll be taken to the you'll be taken to the Microsoft Outlook page. So here, most of you ask yourself, uh, how am I going to get? I mean, where am I going to get my email? Here, you don't you have to use your email, your personal email. No, here you don't have to use your personal email. If you want to know your personal, I mean your personal or your um, institutional email, eh, first of all, you have to come in uh, Moodle. You come in Moodle. After you have come in, uh, I mean, uh, after in Moodle, you come here on your profile. You come under your profile. If I'm not mistaken. 
and uh, just under your profile you will get your email just uh, the moment you just uh, click on the profile you will get your email now this is the email that you are going to put there i mean to to put here and the way it say email or phone number so you have to copy this one or write it somewhere and go paste it uh, here in outlook so mine it's uh, 2017 uh, let me just use it like this just like that and then you press next uh you'll be asked to put in a pin now for you guys you must use the pin that you use uh, on your portal e-learning or a student enabler so mine is uh, this one let me just put it um first then you sign in now that's this method and the second method is still the same like this one the second method is the same like that one you come and uh, i'm coming your portal uh, you come in your portal so under your portal there's there's a, a section or a link where they say student uh, webmail it's just the same like this one uh, student webmail web mail. the link is all uh, is the same you come in under uh, your student webmail you click there it will be taken to uh to the outlook you do the same as we did in the website so the things are all uh, the same or the link is all the same so when uh, as you can see here i'm logged in and here i'm logged in now here the main purpose of this video is not to go or to teach you about this this is uh, for an another day so my main focus is when when you are in this interface you don't click anyway you have to come here on your right uh, corner where there's a person here where it say account manager so you click on that and then you come here where it said view account here you view account you'll be taken to another web page my account it's called my account i just have to wait a bit uh, save to wait a bit just have to wait a bit okay now we are in uh, my account so under my account you have everything that you want to uh to do for instance for this uh, video uh, i see uh, to show you how you can change your password to secure your information so if you see on the right uh table here there is this there are a lot of uh, um tabs the security information devices password organizations and so forth so for this tutorial we are only going to go under password you click on password so when you click on password they will take you where you can straightforward where you can change your um your password now we are on the interface or i mean user interface for changing our our passwords so my password let me just enter it okay now that's my old password now i want to change a new password so i will put in a new password and let's let's confirm it um and uh, wait a bit let's confirm it and then when, once you are done make sure that you, the new password and the and the under confirmation they are all going hand to in hand so once you are done with that you hit submit the button of submit to load and then yeah okay then password that does not match okay let me try well it okay let me try it a bit last more time okay since it, it does not match maybe it was too fast okay let's wait and see 
if you go through your this password does not meet the length of the proximity edge okay yeah so which means uh, i i have been repeating the what the the, the password uh twice now from them let me just um put um okay let me put the new password again because that one i've used it uh, or it was my previous one before i changed it to the this one that i'm using okay let me submit this one and see let's hope it will work all right so it have worked you can see that uh, please wait a few minutes so what they mean by, by this is that uh, we must wait for a few minutes is like uh, for the data uh, to be changed on the cloud and the, to notify the institution that this uh, particular student has changed the uh, the what the, the, the organization id for you to be able to log into your uh, portal uh, module if you can see now if i, I just reload this I'm in, but if I reload this, it can it will not go through why because the I've changed the what I've changed the, the let me just log out. Let me log out a bit. Okay, that's my student number, that's my old password. So let me just change it. Let me put in the new password. Um let me press enter. Login. You see? Now I'm going through my portal with the change the uh, password, so I'm going to update it. So guys and girls, so that's how you can change your uh, University of Namibia password uh, without any trouble. So for if you have any query, please drop in the comment section or drop my number or I will drop the organizational um, WhatsApp group so that we can uh, or you can ask more questions especially the first years we have a lot that we want to deliver for you so if you like this video as well uh, please consider the um, liking it subscribe and share it with your friends so from us we are signing out